Hi, I'm Patu from Freepin Cal. The Finance Ministry presented the first segment of uh, relief measures under the Prime Minister's 20 lakh crore self-reliant India movement and the government has decided to uh, bail out uh, uh, micro, small and medium enterprises or MSMEs, uh, non-banking financial companies, NBFCs, housing finance companies, HFCs and microfinance institutions or MFIs. Uh, I'm not sure if I mentioned it in the taping of the Tamil Nadu uh, Investor Association talk about the debt fund crisis, but during the talk I had mentioned that the banks have become extremely cautious about who they are going to give the money to in the coming months because of this lockdown and they, they want to only lend to high rated uh, companies. I think uh, this was a question asked, this was the first question asked by a reporter just after the uh, 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 the, the presentation was over in today's uh, press meet, I mean the, the first question in the press meet afterwards and uh, the banks have become very wary in uh, lending and I had mentioned that if this uh, this is the case it's going to be defaults will increase and the uh, government will have to step in and bail out these companies and take on the credit risk themselves that's precisely what they have done and this will help mutual funds which are invested in these uh, uh, NBFCs, HFCs and etc. and the defaults at least from a f this segment of the economy should go down in debt funds or any mutual fund that holds bonds. Interestingly today I had uh, uh, given all the uh, references and links associated with the 2008 debt fund crisis and I talked about how this is how that's very similar to the 2020 debt fund crisis and if you like uh, to learn from history, you can go to that post and uh, all the old um, uh, media reports are there and I had uh, uh, a good time learning about what happened there. So now back to the presentation. So the first thing is a 30,000 crore uh, special liquidity scheme where the government will be buying investment grade bonds uh, of uh, NBFCs, HFCs and MFIs both. Uh, the primary market and secondary market investment grade bond uh, like I said uh, I think they will they can go down all the way to they can even buy triple B if I'm not wrong at, at least they can buy A so they, they will not just stick themselves uh, stick to triple A at least they can go to double A A they can even go to uh, triple B and this uh, will help uh, the government will back these uh, uh, with a full guarantee so which means that this will provide the liquidity for these companies to carry forward and uh, and give that money to their clients and also will help the mutual funds uh, who are invested in these bonds. And the second uh, measure is a 45,000 crore uh, 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 what is known as a PCGS partial credit guarantee scheme. This is 2.0. The 1.0 um, essentially uh, uh, was uh, the public sector banks, uh, you know, um, uh, investing in a pool of uh, NBFC uh, securities and uh, that was only high rated securities. Now they have uh, uh, in, in, the, in the partial credit guarantee scheme 2.0, the, uh, the, the government wants the public sector banks to invest in uh, lower rated uh, AA and even uh, uh, below uh, un even unrated papers can be uh, uh, you know um, uh, can be invested in by the public sector banks. So the public sector banks basically they will invest in a pool of uh, NBFC uh, uh, bonds and they will be backed by some kind of collateral. But the point is that the government of India will act as a guarantor and the first 20% loss will be borne by the government of India. In the partial credit guarantee scheme 1.0, I think this was launched somewhere towards the end of 2019. There's only high rated bonds um, that uh, the government can, uh, I mean, that the public sector banks can invest in, but now uh, the uh, AA and even below, uh, including underrated paper, uh, the public sector banks can invest in. This is also very, very good news. It's also a shot in the arm in the arm for these segments. It's, this is fantastic. I mean, we, we have to, uh, it's very easy to be critical uh, given the resources of the government. This is definitely a good, uh, uh, a good step. The, the problem is that. We don't know how quickly this will be implemented. That's where all the problem is. If it's done uh, within a few weeks, maybe uh, even a month could be laid under these circumstances in my opinion. But if it's done as soon as possible, then I think it's fantastic. I'm not, 
uh, I'm not political at all. And if you're going to comment, uh, if you make any political comment in this video, you will be thrown out. And uh, finally, another 90,000 crore uh, uh, liquidity uh, via uh, state government uh, uh, guaranteed uh, uh, bonds for uh, the uh, power distribution companies. Again, that is a good news. So, uh, I, I mean, I don't see, like I said, it's fantastic. Um, um, it would take time for all this to, first of all, trickle down and uh, uh, the, 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 econ the economic wheel to start churning. So, but but it's, a, it's definitely a step in the right direction. So I think we're going to have three more presentations or four more, I don't know. But let's uh, see. Uh, <laughs> I just hope we don't uh, think about ourselves and say, when will I get tax breaks and so on. There should be something. But, uh, but there are bigger problems, uh, bigger uh, fish for the government to fry. Thank you. Bye-bye.